Now we'll discuss about the digestive triangle. So digestive triangle. In this diagram, this is anterior belly of the digestive, this is posterior belly of the digestive. Here is the base of the mandible, here is a line drawing the angle of the mandible to the mastoid crossing, this line. This triangle is digestive triangle. So anterior inferior boundary is formed by anterior belly of the digestive, posterior inferior boundary is formed by posterior belly of the digestive, superior boundary is formed by base of the mandible and a line joining the angle of the mandible to mastoid process. And roof of this triangle is formed by, as you know, this is skin, the superficial fascia, which contains platysma muscle, cervical branch of the facial nerve, then deep fascia, that is interesting layer of the deep cervical fascia. Now floor of this triangle, floor of this triangle is formed by First, seeing the floor and content, we have cut a coronal section. You will find in this position of this is mandible here section. And here is position of this is superficial part of submandibular salivary gland. This is superficial part of submandibular salivary gland. And it's floor in this diagram we make floor. Floor is formed by here this muscle. This muscle is myelohyde muscle. This is myelohyde muscle. If you make in this diagram, so this muscle is present here. This is myelohyde muscle, which form the throat, and posteriorly another muscle, which form the hyoglossus. So myelohyde anterior part and posterior hyoglossus from the floor of this temple. This is hyoglossus. In this diagram, here is position of higher bone. This muscle is hyoglossus. This is hyoglossus. So this hyoglossus also take part in formation of the floor of this triangle. And here is also medial concentrate of the pharynx. So this also improved in the floor of the triangle. This is medial concentrate of the pharynx. Here is position of skin, then superficial fascia, which contains platysma. This is platysma. Then there is deep fascia. Deep fascia here is split and enclose this gland. This is investing layer of cervical fascia. This enclose this superficial part of submandibular salivary gland. This is investing layer of the cervical fascia. Here lies here is position of myelohyde artery and this is Myelo, this is myelohyde nerve, nerve to myelohyde. So floor is formed by this structure, this is myelohyde muscle and hyoglossus is myelohyde muscle, hyoglossus muscle and some part of here that is middle constituent of the pharynx. This structure from the floor of the triangle and the content of this triangle is the submandibular surrounding gland and here is position of the facial artery this lies here like this this is facial artery and another thing this is facial vein 
यसलाई चाहिँ फेसियल भेल सो दि स्ट्रक्चर फ्रम दि कन्टेन्ट अफ दिस डायगेस्टिक ट्रायंगल इन इट्स एंटीरियर पार्ट अप टू हियर एंड इट्स इट्स पोस्टीरियर पार्ट दिस पोर्शन द कंटेंट्स आर डिफरेंट दिस कंटेंट्स आर हियर द एक्सटर्नल कार्डियल आर्टरी दिस एक्सटर्नल कार्डियल आर्टरी हिज इंटरनल कार्डियल आर्टरी दिस इज बाउंड्री ऑफ दिस इज एक्चुअली लाइन ऑफ दी दिस मसल lies here that is posterior belly of digestive and stylohyd so this is boundary below to this this is cavity triangle above to this this is posterior part of this is posterior part of the digestive triangle so these contents these contents are present here in this posterior part of the tendon these are glossopharyngeal nerve pharyngeal branch of the vagus and this artery so these are the content of the digestive tendon here lymph nodes are also present digestic lymph nodes are present and this digestive digestive lymph node drains the area of the face as you know this center port this portion is drained by some end some mental lymph node and here here is position of the sub mandibular lymph node sub mandibular lymph node the base area of the maxi sinus frontal ear sinus g that means this area except this part it drains into sub mandibular lymph node so this is all about the digestive tendon thank you